Hey everyone, James Hurst, and I'm bringing you another high level tips and tricks video by Extendly. And in today's video, we're going to talk about two different common reasons why workflows might skip out of your workflows and make you wonder what's going on, that it's not firing. Okay. So here's a new workflow. I'm just going to give it any old action just for testing. So I'm just going to say a tag, add contact tag, pick a, a hello for the tag there. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and run. I will save and publish this. I'm going to run somebody through it and just be, just be aware. So on settings right now, allow multiples is set to off, right? The default is off. So this is brand new. And, and so if I run someone through this here, if I run myself through this, you would expect that I would get that tag. Okay. So I've, here we are in the history. Now uh, I've, I was added to the thing. I got the tag. Everything's great, right? So if I run myself through this again, Let's, let's say I'm testing this thing and I come through here again and test. It's going to skip out and not really tell me. So I run it, you know, I think it's working or not. It doesn't seem like it worked. I come to the history. Ooh, it's skipped. Well, why? I, I told it to go through more details. Contact is already part of this workflow and cannot be added again. It's not the greatest message. What it should really say is allow multiples is turned off. And so it can't be in, it can't go through this thing twice. Maybe it's a one-time coupon you're trying to, to, to deliver, right? So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can fix that. So if I go ahead and hit settings here and I turn allow multiples on and hit save. Well, now it has no problem with me coming through here again. Let's do it. So let's do this. Now it's going to be the same tag this time. So you're not going to really see a difference, but now let's just show that this will let me come through here now. So there we go. Add to workflow. Okay. It's just fine. Let's see. Give it another second here uh, and finished. Okay. So it, there we go. Add to workflow, execute it, finish. No problem with that. Now let's talk about the other reason that you would uh, see a problem in your workflows. I'm going to add a wait step here. So now I'm going to add a wait step here for one hour. And allow multiples is on. So it's going to let me go through. I'm going to hit save. And I'm going to hit test workflow. Okay. And this should work as well because allow multiples is on. If I refresh this page, it should hopefully be sitting there waiting at the one hour mark. So there he is, one hour. The history says, yep, he's added to workflow. And now we're sitting here waiting. Now, here's the other one. If you have a longer workflow, another reason why maybe you should consider breaking up your workflows is if I come through here now, allow multiples is set to on, and I hit run test, it's going to skip out as well. Okay, so hit that history button there, and there it is, skipped. For a slightly different reason, contact is already active in this workflow. So before it skipped because of the allow multiple setting, right? Contact is already part of this workflow and cannot be added again. I think that's too similar sounding to the other error message that it's already active. Um, but yeah, you get the point. That is what's going on. So that would give you um, two different reasons why you might think, well, why isn't this thing working? Well, if you look at it closely, you can see it's skipping for two potentially different reasons. Hope that helps guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. Want to learn Go High Level in a structured format? Check out the GHLacademy.com by Extendly. We guarantee to save you six months of wasted subscription costs for high level. Just visit the GHLacademy.com.